Hey guys, how y'all doing? Um, I just wanted to film a little video here with the webcam. Uh, say hi. The big camera, the good camera, is having problems again, and it's got to go back to uh, the uh, place for repairs. Uh, so, it also takes me so long to get anything edited off of the other camera. So for stuff like this, I'm just going to start using the webcam. I apologize for the quality. I am going to do something with the lighting, get a little bit better lighting over here. Um, I've got a quick little unboxing here to do for Strike Industries. And uh, I'm a Kool-Aid drinker for Strike Industries. I really like their stuff. I run their stuff on all of my guns. Uh, a few things that I've got in. Uh, some shock buffers. And what they are is uh, they go... You can see there's one there. That's for an XD. Got them for m and for Glocks. Um, where your slide comes to the back where the slide contacts the frame and you get that clunk at the end of every time you take a, a shot it just puts a little buffer there and so instead of being that metal on metal it's just a little bit softer of a setup I run that in conjunction with the DPM recoil management system it's a triple spring recoil management system those cost uh, give or take a hundred bucks for that for the DPM system and uh, the DPM system is the single most advantageous thing that I've done to my handguns. Uh, really, really worth it. Let me know if anybody's interested in it. It makes a big difference. Uh, these shock buffers really do help and they're very inexpensive. Keep these in stock. Uh, something else that is inexpensive but I really, really like. I run these on all my ARs. Uh, this is the Strike Industries uh, dust cover for the AR and they're polymer and you can see this one this was called capsule there's a few different designs that they've got i've got flag capsule uh don't tread on me and then just standard and they come in flat dark earth or the black one of the things i really like about them is that your center your pin that attaches it is spring loaded and it just comes like this really nice as a as a builder to run these but uh, they also are make it really easy to do the install if you're not a builder and you're just trying to do your first install or something like that these are a lot easier to do and they, I've run a lot of rounds through them they, they, they hold on they, they work well uh, Strike Industries makes everything from stuff like that to they've got soft gear as well I've got body armor. Uh, like I say, I, I stock most of it. And uh, I'll be able to give you an exceptional feel on your stuff. Um, another thing, this I've been waiting on this. This is the Megafins Gen 2 rail. This is a 15-inch rail. Uh, this is a very, my, fav my favorite rail that's out there. The only reason I'm not going to be running this on my 300 Blackout is because this is a minimalist style rail, minim 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 minimalist, minimalistic style rail, and my suppressor is too big around for the rail to fit over, so I had, I'm running a Nordic on it. Uh, but either way, this is the rail, and you can see it's a key mod, very nice setup, and you'll notice something special, ah, I see, see the, the fins down there. See how they kind of protrude towards my eye? I'll turn it around and let you guys get a better look in there. Down in there are fins for the first section. Um, let's see if I can get up. There you go. Those fins run to about right here. And what they are set up to do is this is where are we? I'm sorry. Backwards. Those fins run to about right here. This is where your barrel nut goes. Barrel nut is a proprietary. It's a really strong lockup system. I'll get back to the fins. But the barrel nut 
and it goes right there. Now that barrel nut is designed, it holds the barrel on, and right in that area is where the chamber is. That's where all the explosion and everything happens, and, or the burning happens. So, that's where your heat buildup gets. These are designed to wick heat out of that area forward along the circumference of this, and it dissipates the heat that gets built up there. Now what that does for you is it keeps there being big heat differences from your first shot to your last shot. And it keeps your shots a lot, your grouping closer. It is a free float, so you're going to get that advantage there, but also it keeps you from having a lot of variance in your uh, barrel temperature there. Uh, no, it does not burn your hand. It, it, the, the heat, unless you're running a full auto, you don't get that kind of heat buildup and it doesn't wick like that. Uh, but of course, I do. we do here in-house a lot of coatings, a lot of ceramic coatings. We do coatings that help radiate heat. We do coatings that help hold heat in, a few different things like that. And so we can mix and match and do some things uh, to tailor it however you want because you're going to have heat off your gas block, which there is a gas block that uh, Strike Industries now has. Uh, very inexpensive, and it is shaped like this and all the other gas blocks out there you have to put the rail on this rail on first then your gas block and gas tube in it's a little different with the strike industries gas block you can put it on first and then your mega fins rail um, they don't have an adjustable gas block yet uh, they're looking into it uh, but like I say there are there's pros and cons to it but these are amazing. They're lightweight, they're strong, it's a good lockup system, and uh, I really, really like it. It's my favorite rail. So, we'll put that in here for right now. I'll pack it away the right way later. But either way, if, uh, uh, one more thing. This is one of their rail section pieces. This is a key mod setup, and they've got a, a full line of different key mod accessories. But, this has got your QD attachment point there. It is aluminum. They make some polymer stuff also. When you hold the Strike Industries equipment, it just, you can tell that it's good quality. Uh, it doesn't look like it's just got black paint on it. The anodization is very, very nice and deep. Um, the machining is good. There's no real sharp burrs and everything on it. It's just good stuff. And when you couple that with what they charge, you can't beat it. Uh, all of my rifles that I build come with Strike Industries, safety selectors, they come with the pins. Everything that I can run Strike Industries that is not going to be one of those deals where someone is going to choose something based off their preference, I run the Strike Industries stuff. That's just my standard. And then we get into people can choose what they want. but. I really like Strike Industry stuff. I push it. Uh, I am a dealer for them. So if you guys go to their website, if you see anything that you want on their website, give me a shot. Uh, go to my website, tdctactical.com. That's Tango Delta Charlie Tactical.com. Uh, been really busy, and uh, I'm working on doing the website myself. It's been a nightmare. Uh, I'm having problems getting the shopping cart to work with everything. Everybody's got their hand out wanting something. And so um, I put up a page on there, the price, price quote page. That is a form that you can go and fill out. And it doesn't matter if you're looking for price quote services, if you're looking for any kind of gear, uh, any kind of parts. Uh, we've got a portal for our firearm sales department. Uh, but if you're looking for you know, something custom or something that is not in that uh, sales portal, you can use this form and it will go directly to me and I'll get you a quote as fast as I possibly can. Uh, the only other thing, let's see here, I'll show you that Strike Industries gas block quickly. Well, I say I will. I'll tell you another thing that I almost run exclusively by correct that I almost run exclusively from Strike Industries is their slings. The uh, the only sling that's out there on the market that I've found 
that is comparable is the Frank Proctor's Way of the Gun Sling. They're both real similar. Uh, they connect with uh, paracord. The one disadvantage you get from the Strike Industries sling is that, that like say the Magpul sling, you have the ability to quickly go from two point to, to single point or vice versa. If you want to do that with this sling, you need to attach it to a QD uh, attachment point first, so then you can run your QD setup or hook or something like that. You could use this like that, but you'll have to attach the ends of this to some type of quick couple system. But all in all, like if any of you guys use, say, the Magpul sling, you know how hard it is. I mean, I'm, I'm left-handed, so I'm used to doing this. But you know how hard it is to extend it out or to draw it in. It's hard to do. You almost have to grab a hold of it over this and cinch it up. I mean, it's, it's not an easy sling to deal with. Most of the slings out there are, are not easy to, to manipulate. This one is. It's very easy to cinch it up and then it's got another little cord that you pull and it, it releases it, it, it extends it out. Works very well and it's strong. The gas block, I'm not seeing it. I got it right, there we go. Here's our gas block. And again, you guys won't believe some of the prices on this stuff. This is a Strike Industries gas block and you can see the shape of it. So it fits right in with the uh, Megafins rail system. So they make all of that stuff. I mean, we're talking about pistol grips, really nice pistol grips. This is a really good product of theirs. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It is their QD sling attachment point, and this is for a Picatinny rail. And the way that this is set up is on one side you've got a QD point, on the other side you've got a loop. A loop. And as you can see on this illustration, it sits recessed down into the rail section. Uh, the QD point can be removed as you see there it can be removed um, there's a number of things that can be done with these that are just they're they're smart guys over there and they're making smart products so enough uh, drinking the strike industries kool-aid uh, guys take a look at their stuff and uh, take a look at my website and let me try and help you out thank you